Hello, Scorpios. How are you doing? We're going to get into your reading here. So, uh, wow, there's my two. Look at that. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. Oh, just jump out at me. Um, okay, so I just want to welcome you to my channel, and I hope that you're doing well. And I'm really, really trying to work on this audio, so thank you so much for being here through the good times and the bad times. So thank you, Scorpio. Uh, we're going to get into your readings. Uh, so if you are... Um, you know, new to channel, welcome. Don't forget to take a look at my other videos that may have connected with you. Just look under the, um, on my channel. So look at the videos and see how any of those videos may resonate for you to kind of keep up the date of what's going on. Uh, remember these videos are not time stamped. Oh, I can't talk. So Scorpio, let's get into our reading. We have our two of our recent past. Um, also, we're just going to take cards as they come out. I do not choose the cards. I let it, the universe sends me the cards. Okay, so that's my, how I work. So let's go into it. All right. So, and I will be um, focusing on the cards and what comes to my mind and intuition that you may need to know. Okay, wow, that's the current energy. The bottom of the deck is the Empress. All right, so let's see what's going to go on with your um, it's been sending that tower card a lot this time around. What is going to be in the outcome here? And we'll get one more. Wow, these cards are just flipping left and right. All right, so let's see what your person is thinking for Scorpio. What is the current thinking for Scorpio's person? Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to hope this is staying in the frame. I'm trying to keep it all on the frame here. Um, so let's see. Person's thinking... Just thinking. Well, the lovers. I don't want to take the card to drop from the bottom. I think that's just um, a little too easy for the see. Yeah. All right, your person's thinking right now. Okay, so after this, let's go. We'll clarify this. In your current energy, I mean your past energy, Scorpio. Here you have the Five of Cups. And the King of Cups in reverse, somebody's really feeling brokenhearted here. They feel like you're trying to move away from the situation. They don't want you to leave. Um, they know they have not brought the best to you. They have not brought the love that you deserve. And the energy of feeling lost without you. Um, they're actually praying for you not to leave. They, they might not be saying anything to you, but... This person in the recent past have done a lot of thinking about what they have done to you, the darkness they have brought over on you, um, the love that they have spilled and gave up. Uh, but now the person feels like, you know, you are trying to move on with this King of Cups in reverse. That you're standing your ground here like in my last video, Scorpio. You are the Empress. You don't, you are putting yourself first here. And this energy is still showing um, if you have not seen that video, take a look at it about the Stand in Your Ground video as the Empress. This Empress just keeps showing up many times this already. So going in here with the current energy of the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is showing, you know, you lost interest. You're not wanting to invest in this anymore. You're not want to, they have started to feel, Scorpio, they, they are, they have, they are feeling or have felt your energy changed towards them. So the, again, this is that um, communication of quick changes coming in. Eight of Wands are starting to think about what can they do to slowly change for you? What can I do for Scorpio as the Empress? I can't lose Scorpio. But they, they, they're slowly thinking about what they need to do to change the communication. And communication could be off and on right now, kind of, like I said, slow. But, or they have actually cut it off because they think about, you know, you're not investing in this. But they do see the change of the feelings you have. 
And the current energy is that the Queen of Pentacles, you're worried about your success here. You're worried about yourself more than anything. And that's very good, Scorpio. You're loving yourself more than you probably have in a long time. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is saying, male or female, I'm taking care of myself. You know, I, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for the the back and forth, the games that you're wanting to play with me, the hurt that you brought to me, the drama you're bringing to me. I can't do that. You're making it very known and concise, or you have told this person that. But this person is filling here with the Ten of Pentacles. Now they're wanting to make a commitment to you. Now the Ten of Pentacles, you're too much for them to lose. You are too much for them to lose as that Empress here. You are a big investment. They can have this very good life with you. And they, they fumbled it or they did something to cause the problem of losing you. But what are they thinking here, Scorpio? Yes, again, this card showed up in the last readings. Um, they feel rejected. They feel like you don't want them, that you don't want to be with them. You're you're get, moving away from them. They can kind of feel this in your energy. They feel like even if you're miles apart, you haven't seen each other in months um, and months. <laughs> they, you know, these cups means the cups are still standing for love for you. But they feel rejected, okay? And maybe possibly you feel rejected, but their thinking is, I look at that, that they don't know what to do. Here, you, Here's the energy for them. It's a judgment call. They're still thinking, what can they do in this situation? What can they do to make this better, make it right with you, Scorpio? This person hasn't left your life, even though they haven't been talking to you. They know that in their energy, they're going to lose you. They're going to lose their soulmate. They're going to lose the person they want. They pretended that they didn't love you. They didn't want you. But deep down they do. They're, they're worried about losing you more than anything. The Page of Wands, is, again, is in the reverse. They are not communicating um, because they're being silent right now. They're ignoring you on the basis of not knowing how to... They feel kind of embarrassed. I'm hearing the word embarrassed to, to have a conversation with you. They don't know how to get this... Um, communication back on track they don't know what to say to you because in their their judgment here they think they're going to lose you and they feel rejected so they're keeping their voice quiet they're not reaching out at this moment but they do know in the energies of things you are the person they want to be with but they should you know a tower moment came that needed to happen because this person has went through their life playing games with people, not knowing what they wanted, have hurt people. Uh, but at the end of the day, they hurt themselves with losing people and things that matter to them. And they didn't know what they had. They took you for granted here, Scorpio, right? You have the Scorpio Tower card here, right? So moving on the, to the Six of Swords, the energy that you're carrying with you, the, um, the truth that you know, the the feeling of saying, you know, I got to get away from this person or I got away from this person. I need to be, you know, doing what's best for me. And and you got and they, they are looking at you as being a calm person. They know you are right. You can't stay in a situation where they're being inconsistent and not bringing you the best of the best to you. They do have these memories of you. The outcome is showing these memories. Both of you are thinking about the loss you're thinking about the good times you're thinking about while well, i was with this person i, I was feeling happy I, everything was perfect and what is you know they want that reconciliation they're moving on they want this outcome to be very they know what they need to do and with the five of swords in um they know they put hurt on you they know they made you sad they know that they felt like um they left you hurt but they're hoping with this last communication with you, it's going to turn things around to reconcile. Okay. So let's look at uh, clarifying the Empress here. Clarifying the Empress. Wow. Look what came out. The Ace of Pentacles. They are... Both of you are wanting this to work out. Um, they feel like they didn't betray you for some reason. But I'm going to put this back. But they feel like, you know, this has been a betrayal. Something they left you or hurt and everything. And maybe you were thinking they were with someone else. But they didn't betray you. They just felt like they had to get away or something. In the sense of their own space. They needed their own time alone to think what they wanted. And 
your love scared them. Yeah, the Ace of, this is the Ace of Wands. And this energy here, Scorpio, they're looking for that change. They're passionately the change for you. They haven't changed for anyone else, but with you, they're willing to make those changes. There's the Magician card again. They're praying, like I said, they're praying, they're, they're wanting this to work out. They want this to be the best thing ever. They feel like you're someone, you're the best thing ever happened to them. And they, and for you to just walk out of their life will be a re biggest regret of their life. And so the magician's here to warn them, you know, their feelings to, they better hold on to you. With the magician here. Show me the next card, please. Yeah, the two of swords. They're at a crossroads. They they want you. Oh my gosh, it's just like a burning sensation. A uh, two of swords energy where they really want you. And the, it, they just have to take take the risk here, right? They just got to take that risk. The seven of swords. They're not leaving without you. They feel like you know you're too. They have done some things in the past. I think to you and. They had, like I said, they did some hurtful things, but they know what the truth is here, right? So they know what the truth is here, and they have a chance to bring that truth to you. What does this mean, the truth? There's a page of swords. They want to communicate. They still watch you. They have all your photos. They look at your, you might hear my dog, um, want to play, but... Yeah, there's the truth. This is all about the truth is what I'm feeling here. They just want to reach out and tell you the truth. The justice card on the bottom. And this is about truth. Happiness. They just want the truth of happiness with you. This is a very, like a power struggle. A power card that they had on you. But you didn't play that card. And they played and they got burned. Now they want to um, get you back and face the truth they want to face the truth here there's something they want to say to you what is that stuff you want let me get that what do they want to say i just want a, a question what do they want to tell scorpio oh my gosh look at that this is what they want to say to you they love you they want to they do love you and they're the emperor with the empress here this is the last card that came out so that's what i heard they love you scorpio and they can't lose you they're not letting you go here and it just goes on forever this is a beautiful but bittersweet reading right someone didn't treat you right and they now they know i'm gonna take this card poise They think you're ever they 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 vision their life with you. Um, I'm seeing a lot of um, mountaintops, and they're asking why, or you're asking why. They're having a love story. This is a love story. Oh my gosh, really? This is a love story. Um, flights of all. I'm gonna take these cards. I want to give you a little bit of extended reading here. A pause and why these are the one. The poise are like you know you're ev my everything, Scorpio. You're everything to me, and please don't leave. And I'm gonna read what they're thinking as I give you the card. Why you may have read a book or a journal, or you're keeping some type of collage. That has blessings in it, and it, it might be a Bible, it might be some type of sacred type book that you have been reading. Um, how to get better in relationships, or how to um, maybe you're keeping a journal, but the word why is you want to know why. But the reason is, Scorpio, deeply knowing they love you. That is what this is about, right here. They do, you know, they fell in love with you, and they didn't even want to tell you. By the book again. This is something to do with a book. Maybe you watch the notebook or something. And you're following each other. And you're connected to each other. You're But flexible. The flexible is saying. You know just work with me. Just give me patience. Give me, give me time. Be flexible with me. But there's just something to heavily do with a book. 
um, and they're not letting you go, but there's some type of energy here where there's a, I, I want to say something like a, the notebook movie you were watching, or there's some type of love story. It could be some type of sacred book, some type of um, blessing. It could, like I said, a Bible could be some kind of book or collage that you both have. Um, that you are putting memories or it might be a photographer, you know, you're, you were keeping track of things they were doing, but Scorpio, they're not letting you go. I'm just telling you here right now, they're wanting you to know the truth about them. By truth, they will say, I have not done anything. I haven't betrayed you. I just needed my time to figure out my feelings. And I do think they feel like they're coming around that they see you as that soulmate energy and they see you as that soulmate energy to love and to care for. And they're not going to let you go because they do feel like there's just this. You just both of you kind of broke apart for the wrong reasons. For misunderstandings for. I'm not going to say it's misunderstanding. But it's more like a you needed clarity. And you didn't know where this was heading. You didn't know what their feelings were. And you know not what didn't know what they were. Like they didn't even know what they were doing. But the one thing they know for sure, they're going to lose you if they don't straighten up and do better. But they are trying to change with the Ace of Wands, manifesting you in a good way. Um, they have the Queen of Cups. They do love you, Scorpio, with the Empress here. The Emperor, he's going to do everything in his power to stay with you and not let you go. They're holding on to you. You're too valuable to lose. Mm hmm so Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Thank you for supporting me on the channel. If you'd like to make a small donation to me, that that's look under the thanks button. I thank you in advance. Uh, if you would like to do that, you know, $1, $2, whatever you want to do, that's up to you. Um, but I always appreciate you, Scorpio, and I thank you so much for being a part of my life for the last three years. And I hope that this reading has brought you some kind of calmness and some kind of peace to know this person messed up with you or they played the power card on you, tried to control or be possessive. But they see this is not working on you. It doesn't work on Scorpios. They give you all the love and love hard, but if you do something, they don't, they're not afraid to walk away. So this is what it is, Scorpio. You're not by the book. You're standing by yourself. You're not afraid to walk away, you know. Yeah, no matter what the challenges are, you're not afraid to walk away. But they are asking for, you know, to be there and be flexible. And then you're asking that from them as well. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hope you liked the reading. And um, take care. Sending you all my love and light. Take care. Bye-bye.